Good deal. Sunshine here as we kick off a cool Thursday morning. That's a live look outside News 10 this morning with our storm tracker weather cam. Very few clouds out there. Temperature though on the cooler side sitting at 53 right now feels even cooler, especially in the shade as the wind is kicking in. That breeze will hang with us as we go through the day. It's gonna be a cool one at that. Certainly adding to those fall feels here on your Thursday morning. Temperatures will begin to warm over the next couple of hours through the 50s into the 60s and that's going to be it today. Temperatures leveling off close to 70 across the capital region. Again, a little bit of a cool breeze comes through even with that abundant sunshine. But when you're out there in the sun, uh, that should make it feel a bit better. There was a secondary cold front that came in last evening. Really didn't do much in terms of our shower chances. Did bring some clouds and now that change in the air on the back side. Cooler, drier air settling in. High pressure, the only game in town when it comes to weather features. So we're not going to see much on Futurecast today. It's a little bit of a breeze blowing in from the northwest. I won't be quite as breezy as it was yesterday afternoon. Lots of sunshine. Skies will stay clear overnight. Just worried about some touches of fog to kick off your Friday. We'll go from a few hours of sunshine to some cloud cover as we work through the afternoon hours tomorrow. But still a delightful day as we close out the work week. As things stay dry, our pollen counts will be creeping back up, especially towards the weekend. Low to moderate levels today and tomorrow, and they jump up just a touch looking ahead to Saturday and Sunday. Of course, we are on the tail end of ragweed and grass season now. Temperatures today will stay on the cooler side. We're only gonna make it to 69 degrees in Albany. Crisp tonight as we'll drop into the mid 40s. Even some spots could be borderline frosty up into the Adirondacks, expecting some lows in the 30s there. Nice warm up into the low 70s tomorrow afternoon. We start the weekend around 50. Afternoon temperatures will be warming into the upper 70s both Saturday and Sunday. Just an isolated shower chance on Sunday, a little bit wetter on Monday. Then temperatures will creep closer to 80 degrees during the middle of next week. Some of those final full days of summer. We want to check in now with meteorologist Matt Mackey. He's taking the mobile storm tracker up north to Lake Desolation, where it is a bit cooler there this morning. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Hey, Jill, you're exactly right. Currently, I'm hanging out in the mid 40s, 46 degrees at last check, according to the latest data here from the mobile storm tracker. And making you feel worse, if you kind of look over here off towards the lake, you got quite a few ripples on the water. We've got a steady breeze again with the uh, weather instrumentation that we've got. We are able to measure a uh, breeze of uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the northwest, which again is nothing major. It's not really going to cause any issues, but when you're down in the mid 40s, especially in like early to mid September, you're really going to start to feel that briskness to the air, that little bit of a chill. I encourage you, if you're going to be up in the uh, hills or mountains over the next couple of hours, maybe grab that little light jacket or that sweater. It'll do you wonders tomorrow. As we've been hearing, could be a touch chillier, so just getting to be that time of year. Hey, we're live in Lake Desolation with the Mobile Storm Tracker. It's powered by Curtis Lumber. I'm Matt Mackey. Back to you.